everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Just a quick shave today, hopefully just a quick shave, I'm hoping for sort of 10-15 minutes. I'm going to be using Sterling Black Ice. If you haven't used this soap before, you haven't smelled this soap before, it comes in a little tub, like that, 5.8 ounces of it. It's a cracking price as well, can't remember exactly, but I know it's a good price, I'm not too bothered about price, I buy things based on what I like. And it's quite a black sort of coloured soap. Now this is based on licorice, or licorice, or however you say it. Um, if you've had licorice all sorts, or licorice all sorts, the little sort of jelly one with the little coloured beads on it, a little blue, I think it was orange and yellow, I don't eat them anymore, because uh, my diet I don't have anything like that anymore. This smells exactly like the, the licorice inside those little beads, that's what memories comes back to me. Just smells exactly the same. So let's get stuck in. I'm not expecting anything but great results from the soap itself. I've just soaked my Samog Owners Club Blonde Boar. Starting to take on all the sense of the soaps now. It's lovely. And it's it's a, such a soft brush, I can't get my head around it. I'm so surprised that my mate when he used it, he couldn't he kept losing ears off at some. Um, I'm quite happy now that I've got it, if I'm, if I'm honest. Right, let's go straight into the puck. So reasonably hard soap this, it loads very easily. I don't know if I've used Sterling yet with the Simogo Owners Club. I might have done, I think I might have. I'm expecting this to go sort of greyish tinged white, uh, rather than just the pure white, a sort of creamy colour you normally get from the soaps. Oh, scent strength is definitely up there, it's around about a 7 or an 8. It's actually getting stronger. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is a mentholated version as well, so I'm really looking forward to this. It's been very, very hot here today. I've just been out, hung a mirror outside for the wife on the wall. <laughs> so I've been out there sweating. Right, it's a good load in there. Let's take it to the bowl. My sink is full of ice cold water. I've already put the ice in. And straight into the bowl with a little bit of water. Let's see what we can whip up. I haven't had a single problem yet with sterling lathers. Oh God, the scent is really, really starting to come out now. It's, it's probably a seven in the tub. I would say you're getting up there towards a nine now that it's been loaded and lathered, and as you can see. Got a lovely lather in there. So it's Sunday here in WA. I'm getting ready for the Manchester United game tonight. Well, it's not on until midnight over here. It's one of those kickoffs that I hate. Four o'clock kickoff in the UK. I'm getting the soap on my fingertips and it's making my fingertips go cold. So the, the menthol and the sterling soaps is absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to have a quick dip in the water, just a small one. How's the consistency? Almost there. There's some reasonably good results yesterday for United, for Man United. Um, Arsenal, unfortunately, couldn't get a draw out of Chelsea, which was my sort of preferred result, a draw. A worst case scenario, a win for Arsenal. Uh, a be better than worst case scenario, sorry. Worst case scenario was Chelsea winning, which they did do in the end quite comfortably. Right, I'm happy with that ladder. As you can see, it's got beautiful shine to it. Lovely and thick, lovely and luxurious. And I'll just be back in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Whew. Nice cold water, lovely jubbly. Right. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The scent on this takes me right back to being a kid. Oh, 
menthol's cooling the lips down already. Lovely stuff. I'm not like I said before, I'm just not expecting anything less than a great lather from this because it just lathers up lovely. I've only got a day's growth. I was going to let it grow a bit longer, but oh, stuff it. And I was going to use some Bluebeard Revenge today for one of the new guys on Paste and Cut. But by the sounds of things, after buying a bowl and bowl lathering his Bluebeard Revenge cream, he seems to have ironed out the kinks on his lather, which is great. And I'll be doing a Bluebeard Revenge shave next weekend with my son, who wants to come on video with me. So it'll be his first live shave as well. So he's looking forward to it. He absolutely loves YouTube, so. Right, Mergress. Got the Gillette. Seven o'clock in here. I think it's third of full use. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to use it until it feels uncomfortable. Right, so here we go. So far, it's as smooth as you like. I absolutely love this scent on this. Not a scent for everyone. I think I've just nicked myself. Might just have been a hair pull actually, I'm not sure. Definitely a little nick, I think. A little weeper. Slickness of the soap is just brilliant. Yeah, it's caught myself right there. I just nipped the tip on a, on a little, I don't know if it's an ingrown hair or just a little hair. Right, give it a bit of a. In terms of menthol, I can still feel the menthol on this, but it is nothing like frostbite. Or snake bite, but it's still beautiful. Yeah, if I were to say, in terms of scent, uh, menthol strength, it's probably yeah. I would say it's probably half the strength of your snake bite and your frost bite. And the, uh, the Glacial Frozen Tundra, which is just the menthol version of Sterling Soaps, for some reason it's extremely cold, but I think it's the, the type of essential oils that's in there with it, with the wintergreen and whatever else is in there that I can smell. I mean, this is still cold, don't get me wrong, but it's not as cold. A snake bite or frostbite, definitely not. Right, cross the ring. I can tell the difference with this soap as well. Even though I'm using the ice water, it breaks down in the water a lot easier than the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Frostbite, which has obviously got a very high concentration of
some sort of essential oils in there. So I'm not sure quite what it is. The ingredients list on all these artisan products are very, very clean. There's not much in there that would sort of put even your most um, picky people off. But obviously things like this one, I mean this is, oh, sorry, just let me double check, it is tallow, I'm sure it is, yes. Yeah. So this sterling is tallow based, which amazes me because what I hear from tallow based soaps is that they're notoriously difficult to lather. I could be wrong, but that's what I hear. I mean, look at that. I've already had two passes out of that short load that I did. I've still got enough there to do two full, two or three, maybe four full passes. Oh, here off the brush there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And just to bring up as well, I used the frostbite yesterday. Uh, and the aftershave balm as well. Now the post shave feel, like I said at the time, I thought was better than anything I'd ever had. And when I woke up this morning, I had a shiver, came out the shiver, just dried my face and just to, and realized how soft my skin still was, sort of 16 hours after the shave. And I'm talking super, super soft, right up to the point of this shave, my skin was still lovely and soft. That's, in my opinion, very, very impressive. So I don't know what Douglas puts in his, in his balms or how he does it, how he obviously mixes those things together, but that was by far the best post shave feel I've had from any shave. Albeit that it, it makes a difference when you've got artisan aftershave balms which I don't really have. Uh, I've got a Stash Soapworks uh, aftershave tonic sort of thing, which is still nice, but the aftershave balm puts a lot more moisture in, in my opinion, than what you get from a balm, for, from a tonic or a lotion. Right, let's go to town, just a quick go to town with the full works in here. I wanted to try and make this a quick shave, but I just can't, so can't help myself with this stuff. Look at that, beautiful. Look at the shine on it. It's just wonderful stuff. The scent on this one really, really takes me back to being a kid. I'm also one of those freaks that likes to, <laughs> if you're in Australia, they used to make um, a party mix. Well, they still make it, I just don't eat it anymore. And inside the party mix was a little sort of brown jelly guy and he was licorice. This exact smell. And he was my favourite in the bag, so I always used to get him because no one else likes licorice in the family. So that was the one that always got him. This is really getting quite cold now, if I'm honest. My, my face is going numb. Right, just clean up the lips. Finish it off with a quick touch up of everything. Why not? The 
There's not much air left yet, I've got to say. Till I actually go against the grain there. So it just goes, it's testament to the slickness of the soap. Oh, that's lovely. It's the first time I've really sort of went at that angle, the angle's sort of that way. So I'll see if I can hold it with that hand. Oh, I can't even hold it with that hand. <laughs> Try to do it in the mirror. Tit. Yeah, that's a lovely, lovely quick shave. And as with the uh, frostbite, post shave feel with sterling is lovely, it's really beautiful. I think that those little nicks and stuff have all sort of cleaned themselves up. That little one there. I've got a little tiny one there. But other than that, pretty good. So I think I'll finish off again, since I'm going on the menthol film, film, fuel, frostbite, post shave balm. Yesterday. Oh, it's just lovely, lovely stuff. It really is. Alright guys, there we have it. I think that's about 17-18 minutes, I don't know because I've split the video in two. But yeah, beautiful shave. Still got that little tiny one there. Oh, post shave feels tremendous with that frostbite. And mixed with the glacial, eh, not the glacial, with the sterling and all the frostbite soap as well. It's just beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So yeah, that was sterling black ice using the Murgress uh, with a Gillette seven o'clock blade in there, black one I think it is. I didn't realise it was yellow ones, but black one. On the third or fourth use, I'm not 100% sure, setting one. Very, very smooth. Simog, Owners Club, Cherry, uh, Blown Bow brush. You can see the metal ladder that's still in there. Definitely up there, nine sort of scent strength. And the performance is just usual, sterling, beautiful. It was mixed up today in my Sapona Ficho Baracino bowl. And we finished it off with Frostbite. Aftershave balm from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. All in all guys, another cracking shave, really enjoyed that. Nice quick shave, quick shave for me anyway, I'm normally sort of 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So, Guys, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.